Hello and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Stellaris with the Bacturian Collective. Let's resume the game. So I want to talk a little bit about why I am building tall. I know that might seem a little bit weird, you know, given the fact that we're, what, 35 episodes into this? But for real, I want to talk about why we are playing the way we are. My thought is, because the ability to research, the cost of research, is very strongly tied to... Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, hang on. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Come here. Uh, you construction ship, build me a wormhole station real quick. I might actually be able to get up here and finally research that planet. Anyway, my thought is, because the cost of research is so dang high based off how many planets you have co uh, colonized and how many pops you have, then it is far more difficult, I would say, to get technology than it is to um, get force limited military power. My thought is, I can build tall, get as much tech as possible, and then I can pretty rapidly colonize, get a lot of force limit, and then bam! Now I have a fleet roughly the size of everybody else, but hey, check it out, it's three times as powerful. Because it's really not hard to get your force limit up, all you have to do is build a bunch of bursts of colony ships, like four, colonize a bunch of worlds, and then just start the construction of some space stations. You don't even have to finish the dang thing, just start it. And then boom, check it out. Instant increase your naval capacity. You know what I'm saying? It works. That's all. So I don't know, I think building tall is going to pay some pretty big dividends, and based on what I've seen of all the other uh, nearby nations, we are substantially stronger than most of them when it comes to our tech. And I'm hoping to prove that pretty soon. Enlightenment completed! The thousands of scientists and advisors we sent to Glugenjal have finally completed the arduous task of bringing the local civilization up to an early space age level of technology. Under their new unified government, the aliens now style themselves as a Sathid Dominion, and they have agreed to become our vassals. Our observation post above their homeworld has been dismantled, as per the conditions of our treaty with them. So they get the Batharian Stone, which is why I didn't use it to build something. This is a great day. So I have a new little vassal over here. Hi. Hey, guys. Hey, you, and you're so cute. Ruthless capitalists, collectivist, militarist, and materialist. Seem fine. They're not very happy with me, and a big part of that is because, again, my subjects are too strong. What's considered a reasonable balance of our power here? Solo, I could wipe all of you out. Does that not count? Is that not strong enough? Construction Apparently not. I am, however, going to go ahead and dismantle this, I think. Which makes me sad. But this frontier outpost is no longer getting me much. It's only getting me a little bit of energy. Well, I take it back. It's getting me a... Okay, never mind. It's actually getting me a reasonable amount of energy. And I do need energy. They took a lot, though. Still, it's a thing. And now, I could attack these guys and feed them a planet or two if I want to. That's kind of fun. Mmm... You go here, please. Once this wormhole station is done, I want to go scan that planet. Work toward my mission. Finally, you know? It's been long freaking enough. Here. You go here, please. Thank you. Let's see. These guys can group up. What's this? Oh, our battleship arrived! Nice! Let's send our Inquisitor class. Where are you? Big and gorgeous. Look at that thing. Lumbering along. And we can see from the blue circle here what the aura is. This is where they slow down. It's still going to be kind of hard to catch them, I think. Just because battleships are so dang big and slow, but... Still, it might work. Science ship. Can you go here? Yes, you can. Okay. Let's go over there. Yeah, our wormhole range is now massive. One station can get me really far. It covers like an eighth of the galaxy. Mass extinction. Desolate planet. A planet in this system still wears the fossilized traces of a past ecology on its sleeve. What could turn a thriving biosphere into a blasted wasteland? You now have a special project. Good. It's about time. Why don't you go here and do said special project? Make some dang progress on this mission. Freaking heck, man. Took long enough. All right, let's continue to upgrade some planets. Uh, how you guys doing over here? You're doing okay. 
We are not quite at five population, but we will be in well, a while. One more pop will do fine. Then we'll upgrade our reassembled ship shelter. I guess in the meantime, we might as well clear out some blockers. And I could upgrade this to another hydroponics farm, but I don't think I want to. We're doing okay, as far as some food. It's fine. Should be perfectly fine. Tundra World, how you guys doing? You want to get upgraded to a planetary capital. I will oblige you, sir. You are migrating to my new planet. Okay. I didn't really give you permission to do that, but okay. Why don't you go ahead and get me some energy, please? Batherian power plants. I think we still have the Batherian, right? Wait. Cancel. Yes. We do not have enough Batherian anymore. Why not? What happened? They didn't take any. These guys got one Batherian stone, but I shouldn't have taken up all of it. Huh. So I guess this Batherian power plant is worthless to me, then. Well, that's a dang shame. Alright. We'll replace you with a proper power plant, then. I'm sure somebody sees something that I don't, and they're screaming at me right now, but what can I do? Not much. Let's go and upgrade the power hub. Upgrade the power plants. Doing okay on food. Actually doing really well on food. Almost enough that I can get rid of one of these. Nice. I'm Special always a big fan of that. Complete. Special what was done? I don't freaking know. Alright, join up with the Inquisitor, please. The Inquisitor class. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. They're huge! Now, why are the battleships taking point, though? I don't want them to. Special project. The Corvettes go first, always. They're my bullet sponges. Life on the now barren planet was, sadly, doomed from the start. As if by some cruel stellar conspiracy, the dominant species on the planet barely had time to awaken to sapience and invent agriculture before, through unfortunate geological mechanisms, the Earth started turning sour. So they're all dead. Do I get anything? Doesn't appear so. Alright. You then... Oops. Why don't you come back here and, again, assist research. Get me some more points. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh no! Our high technician did died. Did? He did. He did did. He's dead, though. He's dead, Jim. Alright, so now we have the terrible one with terrible naval capacity. Yay! But he's got cheaper edict costs, so... That's a thing. Who's our heir? He's going to live a long time, and he's going to produce more monthly influence. Okay. See, I'm okay with this guy. Go ahead, Tulanga. Die. Bring in some new blood. Much rather have him on the throne. Alright, do we want to upgrade the food? How are we doing? Eh. I don't think there's much point in upgrading these. We won't really get anything out of it. Be a lot better if I could get rid of this freaking pop. What if, um... No, it won't grow. I was just thinking, what if I could genetically modify it? Well, let's just sort of see what happens. Can I do something like that? Demographics, Dorbolin, modify specifically on... Lugder, you. Can I make you have an arid preference? I can. And take away your solitary? Modify. Maybe. Updated. I'm not sure. Oh, did we actually finish upgrading these guys entirely? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're a lot happier now. These guys are not sedentary. Cool. So it worked. Good to know. Cost me a lot of my society research, of course, but... Still, not bad. It'll only take us about a month to upgrade that door bolin. Let's just see what happens. Special project complete. Special project complete. Are you upgrading? Are you growing? You are not. You are not growing. Oh, for the love of God, just go away. You got your arid preference. It's not enough. 
Well, maybe when I eventually hand this off to a sector, they'll know what to do better than I will. All right, let's upgrade one of these. Uh, better hydroponics farm here. That should upgrade me to a six surplus, and then I can get rid of this and replace it with something more useful. Maybe a power hub if I don't already have one, which I don't see. I don't think I do. No, sir, I do not. Yeah. That seems intelligent to me. How long until you migrate? Four months. Okay, let's replace, upgrade this. Let's upgrade this. These guys are still working on their planetary capital. These guys are doing okay, but we're waiting for some more population to come in. All in all, not too bad. Construction complete. We'll be okay. We should, however, continue upgrading our spaceports and so on. Actually, let's go ahead and get ourselves a solar panel network there. That'll be important. Upgrade. And we're done there. I have to keep track of all these different classes of ships now. It's going to get so confusing. How long until these guys are done? Contacts. Empires. What are you called now? The Nation of... Dimiscul. 100 freaking months to go. Jeez. Army upkeep production. Nice. Form Federation. Engos Refinery. Reveal the Engos Vapor. Energy weapon damage. What? Ooh. That could be kind of good. Do... Okay. Let's, let's try it. But first... Ship designer. Yep. Tachyon lances are considered energy type. Okay. Well, that sounds like it could be kind of useful to me. I wouldn't mind having that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Hmm. So these guys are in, I think, the Bronze Age. Let's aggressively observe them. I don't care if they become xenophobes. They're never going to come out of this. You guys are in the Iron Age, right? Yep. Yes, you are. So fine, we might as well take a little bit of extra society. That can't hurt, right? Of course not. Do we want to upgrade the rest of these Bacturians while they're relatively cheap? We probably should, actually, now that I think about it. Wait, you're repugnant. Oh, you're Neo-Bacturian. Still, for our regular Bacturians, maybe we should upgrade them so they're not solitary, so that every new pop doesn't have this. That actually would save us some society in the long run, as opposed to waiting. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should. You. Nope, you. Modify. On Glugdai. Take this away. Modify. Go ahead and research that. Well, you know what? It's nice to find a nice uh, new use for the um, for the society research. You know, originally I was thinking that might be the weakest type of research. But it seems like it can actually have a lot of really good stuff. Now I'm kind of thinking that engineering is the weakest. Then again, that's also had a lot of economic development. It seems to me that physics is basically your weapons and such. Um, and space travel and so on. Society is for your cultural development, for your political influence your diplomatic options, and engineering is to get you better mineral plants and armor and stuff. Construction I guess they're all important in their own different ways. I just think I like physics the best. But I'm biased. I found some incredibly good physics pretty early on, so why the heck not? We have two extra food. I would love to get rid of this hydroponics farm here. Not sure I'm going to be able to. If I upgrade you, I will get one more food for the cost of half an energy. One more food does nothing for me because I can't get rid of this. So, no. Not a good deal. Unless I could find a way to genetically alter them, make them happier, and that technically produces more food? I don't know. Maybe it would. Hey, good, we can finally upgrade our planetary administration. Top priority. As for you guys, go ahead and upgrade the power plants, please. 
Hmm. What else? We'll upgrade these power plants. I don't need more food. We're gonna leave these as is. This is worthless. This population won't go away. That actually really frustrates me. There should be a way to do that. Like, cancel growth of pop. And then it's like, are you sure? To make sure you don't screw it up. And I'm like, yes, I'm sure. Thank you. Eh, yeah, well. I do not have a lot of influence left. I'm noticing this. Let's see. We have eight pop left. Do I want another battleship? Yeah. I think we want a Dominator class. Or a Messiah class. You know what? A Messiah class could be fun. This would allow me to heal all of my ships without having to repair. Let's build a Messiah class. Why not? Take up the rest of our force limit. Naval capacity. It could be good. I've almost got 10,000 power. Then factor in all my allies. My vassals. We're doing pretty good. We should probably declare war on these guys. Do you have any allies? Does not appear that you do. They will vote no. You'll vote no? What do you mean you'll vote no? Did I offer the option to vote no? You don't understand how this works. I am your master. I think you've forgotten your place here, sir. Well, what if we release Woad Reacts? We will liberate this planet. No war member fulfills required... What? Oh, that's not irrelevant. And I will release this. And for you, since I'm sure you're going to ask for a planet, what if we gave you Regulus? Yeah, I need vote yes. Do I care if he votes? Maybe, maybe not. Still. You know, what if we also released one more planet? Well, wait, hang on. Okay, you need to have all the Regulus planets. Right? Yes. All the Regulus planets go to you. And then everything else gets liberated. That's, that's everything I can do, actually. That's a 100% war score. How does that work? I'm pretty sure some of these have multiple colonized planets on them. Pretty sure. Hmm. There is one more planet on Sothama. Where the heck is... Oh, you're over here. Oh, that's fine. You can stay over there. That's fine. Okay. So yeah, what if we do this? We'll cede two planets to our ally, make them stronger... We'll liberate three more planets in a row, and this will form a new person that we can ally. And add to the Alliance, the Militarist, my ethos, blah blah blah. Okay, this seems fine with me. We can reach everything we care about, yes. We can reach this planet. Okay, and by going to war, we should be able to get a science ship over here. This seems fine. Confirm. All right, super fleet. Why don't you come this away, please? Yes, 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 I know. I'm spending a lot of money to keep these darn fleets running. I'm aware. Is there some technology that allows you to reduce the maintenance costs on these dang things? Because they suck. Hey, a military station over here, huh? You don't say. I think we can handle it. Probably. Let's go ahead and embark these guys, because we know we are going to want them. And let's get a move on. I want to test this fleet out, dang it. That's the primary reason I'm going to kill these guys. It's not just for my own political gain, you know, in the galactic scale. It's also because I want to have a super powerful fleet. And I want to use it. What's the point of having a lot of military if you can't do anything? That's been the American way for a long frickin' time. As long as I can remember. Let's see. So you guys are where? Yeah, you're opening a giant freaking wormhole. Whoa, God! Wow. 
We jumped over here surprisingly quick. Okay, guys. Time to get to work. Destroy that station. Are you going to destroy the station? Whoa. Okay, there go the Tachyon Lances doing their thing. Let's, uh, let's slow down a little bit. Pay attention to all this. So what is this? That was a science ship we just blew up. There are the Tachyon Lances. They fire pretty slowly, but... Hokey Smoke, they do a lot of damage. There go the torpedoes. We have not lost anything yet. You guys gonna destroy this, or are you guys gonna sit at a long range? Looks like you're gonna sit at a long range. What's this? Oh, a construction ship. That couldn't get away from my, uh, my Tachyon Lance, it turns out. Cool. Alright, well, that was easy. Why don't you go destroy their uh, station over here? Let's just sort of follow this for a bit. Construction. Let's see what these guys can do. There are the battleships, once again, leading the way. That's not quite what I would have had in mind, you know? We do need to uh, change our research. Um, leader enhancement, capacity boosters, what? If active, our empire gains... Oh, so this is better lineage stuff. We could increase our border range. That has kind of bitten me in the past, though. Let's go for the capacity boosters. Why not? All right, fleet. Hostile fleet engaged. Show that stupid station what you can do. You guys are really slow. That's okay, though. Look at that. Pew, 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 pew. Th that, that's it? Man, they do fire slow. Still, that's some pretty incredibly good range right there. Our Corvettes couldn't even get close. Not bad. Guys, go on the aggressive. Can I split you? How do I split? Create new fleet. No, wait. Split fit. It's V. Okay. You guys. Go on the aggressive. Kill other stuff. We'll group you back up later. Not bad. I have yet to see their fleet anywhere. But I think we should be pretty easily able to beat the crud out of them. Wait, is this them? There they are. Hey, they got a battleship. They're attacking my vassal. How dare you? We did find Engos Vapor. Do we have any? Engos Vapor, Engos Vapor. I saw my vassal had some. I don't see any over here. Or there. Once again, I think I got none of the resources. Well, that's frustrating. But okay. All right, we're going to call this video here, but uh, I think this war is pretty easily going to go in our favor. Maybe we should retreat and save these guys. Yeah, we should. All right, never mind. Both of you guys go here, please. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.